Yesterday um, at approximately 1 p.m., um, the city manager came into the police department. I happened to be here um, visiting with my chief, um, and uh, during that meeting, um, she terminated Robin Crock. Um, she did not give a reason, um, and uh, you know uh, she relieved him of his duties. And so we, you know, as you can imagine, um, that. That hit us pretty hard and, uh, and, and, and shocked everybody, not only in this department, but in our community. Um, it's my understanding that uh, Greg Ellenson was named interim chief, um, and it's my understanding that he was sworn in after hours in a closed door, non-publicized, not even the mayor and council uh, swearing in. We don't know what the oath was. Uh, we don't know uh, under what authority. Uh, but what I can tell you is, is that the charter and the policies and procedures in Georgia law um, does not it, um, does not uh, allow this to happen in this manner. Um, and so I have uh, stated uh, in that meeting this morning, and I've stated outside that um, I do not recognize uh, Greg Ellenson as the interim chief. The city the city manager has the authority to appoint, um, uh, make a recommendation for an appointment. And at that point, um, it goes to, to council, and council has to approve any interim uh, for that particular position. Um, I did inform, she asked me to leave that meeting, um, and I refused to, to leave that meeting. Um, I, will, I, will, I will not leave. Um, this is the people's department, and I'm gonna continue to, uh, to serve the people. I'm gonna, consider, I'm gonna continue to serve uh, uh, the public safety personnel in this, uh, in this city, um, like, like we always have. Okay. Um, with all the with the current situation of the county and the fire department, do you see this having any tie, any relationship to that situation that's ongoing? You know, it, in, in my personal opinion, I think that there is an attempt to reduce the level of public safety um, coverage in the city of Denver. That is my, that is a personal opinion. Um, but I think that the actions of individuals meeting with, uh, un unbeknownst to the mayor and the entirety of the council, uh, to discuss consolidation of fire services, um, the actions of a city manager firing a, a police chief with a stellar record, with nothing but five-star um, evaluations, um, highly respected, one of the finest men that I know, um, and for the to be terminated uh, the way he was terminated yesterday um, is beyond beyond um, anything that I've ever seen. Like you said, there's a lot of response not only within the departments and local government, but also around the county and the public. Uh, what does it What does it mean to you to see the uh, the support and uh, reactions from the community? Well, it it. it um, I am pleased with the level of support that has been shown to uh, Chief Crockham personally and his family. I'm pleased with the support that uh, and the outpouring that uh, the public has um, exhibited towards um, what is right and what is true. Um, the citizens of Demarest and the people in the community should be outraged uh, at the way that this occurred. Um, and uh, I'm going to do everything in my power to see that um, it's rectified. Again, um, they, they're operating outside and beyond the scope of uh, the charter, uh, policies and procedures, and Georgia law. Um, and I informed the city manager that uh, her actions at this point um, may incur personal liability. And uh, at this point, moving forward from this situation, there are rumors that other uh, higher up authorities have been called in to kind of mitigate the situation. What's what's a comment on that? I, I had a conversation this morning with Representative Ch Terry Rogers. He called me early this morning. Um, uh, it's my understanding that uh, he's going to reach out to the Attorney General's office. Um, I don't know if uh, the Attorney General or any, any staff member will reach out, um, but uh, he has the contact information for the City Attorney. Uh, I can tell you that the uh, City Attorney in conversations with him yesterday um, and this morning um, uh, agrees uh, completely that um, th this, this is um, it's in improper form. Um, and falls outside of uh, the, uh, the scope of authority that uh, has been exhibited. And then a uh, final question for you. This morning uh, before the meeting began, uh, there's a large group of, I guess, the current officers and then local, um, local citizens from around the community uh, that got together in the parking lot and you prayed. What was that kind of prayer? What was that about? You know, in, in, at times like this, um, I don't know what's going to happen, but I know one that, that does know what's going to happen. And um, you know, uh, these are times that will test your faith, um, but uh, at the end of the day, uh, our faith is firm. Um, God's in control, 
And, uh, and so, you know, we ask for wisdom, we ask for discernment, we ask for His intervention, we ask for His peace, we ask for His forgiveness, we ask for a number of things that only God can give. Um, and uh, at the end of the day, He's a God that's full of grace. Um, and, uh, you, know, uh, he, 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 you know, His presence in my life uh, and in the rest of those uh, lives that you saw praying, um, you know, is the only peace that we have um, regarding this particular situation. And, I, I, you know, we just have to, I just have to trust his guidance, his knowledge. He knows uh, long before any of us know um, how this is going to turn out. And, uh, and so that was just a prayer to, uh, to ease hearts and to ask his intervention and to, and to uh, you know, ask for wisdom and discernment. Any final comments to uh, the community at all? Um, it, 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 Citizens of this community, um, you have an opportunity to voice um, your opinion. Um, I encourage you to do so um, in a polite manner. Um, but uh, what has been done to the city, uh, city of Demarest uh, in your, your department, and not only in the city of Demarest, but we have, we have automatic aid agreements. And so our, our officers serve not only people inside the city limits, but immediately surrounding in the county. Um, and and um, you have a right to express your opinions. Uh, what has happened is wrong. Um, and it shouldn't have occurred. And uh, so I ask the citizens, uh, if, uh, if you see this as a, as a big as injustice as the rest of us see it, um, then now is, now is the time for you to make yourself um, and your voice uh, known. And uh, how's the best way for, for them to do that? City Hall's phone number is 778-4202. Um, and uh, I, I cannot and will not give out uh, the personal cell phone numbers of anybody, but um, they can certainly ask. Uh, for those when they call City Hall. Um, but uh, social media is a great place um, to voice your concerns. Um, we are going to have to have a meeting um, regarding Robin Crockham. Um, he is uh, due a name clearance hearing. Um, I expect that meeting to occur sometime next week. Um, it'll be a special called meeting. Um, uh, I anticipate that we will um, Facebook stream that uh, meeting live. Um, but uh, I also ask uh, the, the, the people of, of Demarest and our community uh, pray for our community right now, um, because I've got I've got men and women that uh, serve this community that uh, um, really have uh, some some insecurity about what their future holds and um, whether or not they're going to be able to hang on to a job. They've been assured this morning from me that uh, they're going to stay employed um, and that uh, we need to continue to serve our public. But uh, uh, citizens, uh, now, now's the time to stand up.